How's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here at DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, September 28, 2020 free pick. And we're talking about the game tonight between the Chiefs and the Raiders on this report. We'll get to that. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get set up for a free $60 account. And then you can use those free $60 on any of my daily package or anybody else over at DocSports.com. All right, we'll get to what we did here you know, in this weekend and what's coming up for me on Monday and also then finally the uh, clash between the Chiefs and the Ravens. Uh, first of all, we turned the profit on Saturday in college football on the strength of our seven-star game of the month win in college action. That was a nice winner. Uh, Sunday, we did not win. Uh, unfortunately, went two and three. Had five plays, my biggest card on a Sunday so far this NFL season. A little bit bummed. You know, we don't whine, we don't complain and bitch and all that kind of stuff when it comes to winning and losing. Uh, but I will say this, at two and three, we had Houston look late in the game like they had a great chance shot to cover against Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh gets the six plus the two-point conversion uh, more than halfway into the fourth quarter. Houston didn't answer the bell. We lost that one. And the other one that was kind of frustrating, the other loss was the Dallas Cowboys who were down 30-28 four minutes to go in the game. And if they missed the field goal, we covered the spread. Seattle wins 30-28. Uh, they made the field goal. So with a little over a minute to go, Seattle's down by one. They've got the ball at the Dallas 29. And of course, we're hoping, like all Dallas backers, for a field goal, but instead they get a 29-yard touchdown pass from Russell Wilson. Uh, they go on and they hit the two-pointer. They win 38-31, and those who had Dallas plus the points suffered the defeat with a little bit more than one minute to go in the game. So listen, we won a couple of lucky ones on Saturday, so I don't want to complain too much, uh, but that's the difference. Those two plays, the Houston game, the Dallas game, between four and one and two and three. Also wanted to update you on the Sharps versus the public. Now, if you don't know by now, if you're kind of new to these videos, every Sunday for several years now, about 12.30 p.m. Eastern, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, about a half hour uh, before the early games kick off on Sundays, I jump on ESPN National and we talk a little bit about where the betting is, where the numbers are, the tickets, the money, the sharps, the public, all that kind of good stuff. And so for the second time in three weeks, they did it in week one, they did it in week three, uh, the public punished the sharps. Four and one on the head-to-head -head biggest differentials between the Joes and the pros. I'll tell you what the games are right now. Uh, the public had Green Bay. The pros had New Orleans. The public cashed Green Bay. The public had Pittsburgh. The pros had Houston. The public cashes the Steelers. Uh, the public had the Chargers. The pros had Carolina. We had Carolina. That was the only pros win against the public of the five. The other two, the public had Tampa Bay and they had Seattle. The pros had Denver and they had Dallas. So for the second time in three weeks, weeks one and weeks three, the Joes cash four out of five against the pros in those biggest differentials. And uh, I would suspect that it starts to even out a little bit coming up here in the month of October. But again, that's four out of five head to heads, two out of three weeks. Uh, not bad work by the Joes, so to speak. All right. So Again, here's what's going on for us on Monday. Uh, we do have some action. I'm going to give you the KC Baltimore game here, so you don't have to pay for that for me. I'm uh, going to give you that play in just a second. What we do have, going to kick off Monday with an afternoon game in soccer in the EPL. Uh, that's going to be available at DocSports.com. And also, I do have both side and total in the NHL. That's game six tonight of the Stanley Cup Finals. We do have the side. We do have the total in the same package at DocSports.com. So we got both of those in the in early Tuesday, Korean baseball action. Yes, I'm still betting Korean baseball. I will have uh, my four-star play in early Tuesday KBO available on Monday afternoon. Only on Monday can you grab those KBO plays because the game starts so early uh, the following day. So that's what's going on for me on Monday. We cashed with the Miami Heat in the NBA on Sunday. Uh, we cashed our final baseball play of the regular season on Saturday, then passed on Sunday. Baseball playoffs, by the way, get underway on Tuesday. Yes, I'll be in action. We are 18 and 6. We playoff seasons of the 24 years that I've had Major League Baseball playoff action as a handicapper and a better looking to make a 19 and 6. And then, of course, the NBA gets underway in a few days. We'll talk about that in just a bit. Hey, I also wanted to mention I do have a seven star play. We've already handicapped the college football card. I do have another one going this coming weekend. I'm going to tell you more about it as we get closer to Thursday. My top plays, top uh, released plays in college football each week so far this season were three and one, 75%. More on that coming up. All right, let's get to 
to uh, the clash between the Chiefs and the Ravens. Most shops still have Baltimore laying three and a half. A couple have three, so shop around. If you like Baltimore, don't lay more than three. You can shop around. If you like KC, there's way too many opportunities out there to grab three and a half. Don't take any less. All right, so here's what we're looking at. First of all, uh, this is not something that I kept myself. Uh, but it is from a quality source, and I went back and checked, and it's right. Uh, the last 40 games that Kansas City has played in, they've had just five games, five out of 40, where they've ended up on the losing side by more than three points. It's a pretty good stat. Five out of 40, 35 out of 40, they've been you know, in a situation where they would have covered more than three points as a dog or, of course, as a favorite. So that's a pretty interesting stat. Also, uh, another person compiled the numbers, and this one's pretty easy to find anywhere. Uh, about the fact that, and everybody knows this, Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs, 9-0 with Mahomes at quarterback straight up in September. Uh, he's also got a 28 to nothing, 28 to zero touchdown to INT ratio in those nine games that was pointed out uh, by my inner circle of betters and handed to me, and it is verifiable, and probably, I think Brad Powers was probably the first one to mention that. So there's a couple of really cool stats for you uh, that would point towards Kansas City. And the one funny thing that everybody talks about since KC struggled against the Chargers. It doesn't matter if they're experts on networks, played the game or not, you hear it constantly. If you have four down linemen who can put pressure on Patrick Mahomes without having to cheat up with safeties and corners and all that crap, and you got seven defenders who can drop back in coverage, well, you can maybe beat Kansas City. As though this is a sweet elixir, and this is the key to beating Kansas City, and boy, they just get beat every time that they go up against a, a bunch of down linemen, four down linemen who can rush the quarterback and put pressure on them without help from the linebackers or the defenders of backfield. It's kind of funny when you hear that because like that's all it takes to beat Kansas City. All right, you know what? Baltimore's got a great defensive line. Maybe they come out here, they do that, and they win this football game. I thought last week against the Chargers, yeah, the Chargers had a nice game plan. I thought Casey was shocked a little bit uh, by the quality quarterbacking of the rookie Herbert, who was not expected to play, but he comes in when Tyrod Taylor couldn't play with the lung situation. Herbert had a really good game. It was also a tough spot. I mean, I know it was a divisional game, but they came off the opener against Houston where we had Casey uh, and then they got this game against the Baltimore Ravens so if there was ever a flat spot if you believe in that stuff that could have been a flat spot for KC bottom line is listen they were up by 17 in that win last year over Baltimore when they beat the Ravens 33 28 they were up by 17 at one point and I think Clyde Edwards Hilaire brings another dimension to this offense that Baltimore simply didn't see from Casey last year. And he could be the sweet elixir, so to speak, that safety valve dump off kind of scat back and power who can take care of defenses that do pin their ears back to come after Mahomes. So I think they got a little bit more of a weapon there in uh, this particular running back. And we're going to recommend to play on Kansas City plus the points. Listen, Baltimore can whip anybody, right, on any given day. We got the two best NFL teams going at it on Monday. Monday night, in my opinion, is KC plus the points. So there you have it. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Let's put them in the win column on Monday. I'm Scott Spritz or DocSports.com.